Oh, I don't know about you guys, but shit's about to get real because look what we just got in the house. The AEW Blood and Guts CM Punk and MJF 2-Pack. Let's open this up and let's truly see who is the best in the world. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel as i said we've got the jazzwares aew blood and guts dog collar two-pack of mjf and c m punk i have been waiting on this for a hot minute i was so pumped when they announced this and this is probably the first blood and guts figure that i'm doing a review on well i shouldn't say probably it is the first one i'm doing a review on but I, I'm just so excited for this. I've been waiting on this. It's here. You guys know how huge of a CM Punk fan I am. And I also like MJF as well, too. Even what people think, whether he's a bad guy or not, I like his character. So with that being said, you guys know how I do my figure reviews by now. So let's go ahead and let's get this on the turntable and take a look at the box. now that we've got a look at the box let's take a look at the accessories so what i did first is that i actually took everything out of the box and i also popped off the heads so i could take the dog collar off and show you guys so they did use a really nice you know metal chain link the dog collars pretty uh generic but still pretty pretty cool so we got that and they did a good good quality on that so got to give it to jazzwares then we've got um with mjf we've got two sets of hands and a portrait so we've got two fists that are taped up and bloodied a left and a right so and you can see there's like a there's a pin right there so there is going to be pivoting with that on the figure but they got the blood and the tape on there so that's cool then we've got another set of left and right hands the left hand is a little bit more open and this one's a little bit more closed like he's grabbing on but again you can see the blood on there and the tape so again really great job on that and then we have an, an additional portrait and it's a bloody a little bit more bloodier than the one that comes on the figure and it's screaming so pretty good i don't think they've quite exactly have nailed the likeness yet to mjf i still think that food needs some work but this is definitely a step in the right direction and again you've got all the blood and everything so really cool on that then we've got what comes with my man c m punk and we also got left and right hands that are bloodied and it's got the x on the tape like he always does and as you guys can see right there on the fists he has his tattoo so it says drug the other one says free so really nice detail on that capturing that and then again the x on the hands and then the blood so cool there then we also get the same style set of hands um except these are more like slapping hands so we've got again the, you can see the drug free on there the blood and the x's on the tape so again bang up job on that really really cool and then the extra portrait that comes with cm punk is extremely bloody and he's got his mouth open like he's screaming so they did a awesome job on this portrait so that is really really awesome and again you guys know me i'm a huge cm punk guy so i'm just stoked to have this in hand but that portrait is super cool so yeah guys you know what time it is let's go ahead let's bring the figures in and let's take a look 
All right, guys, and here is MJF, and damn, this thing is awesome. Again, nice touch to the blood splatter all over the chest, the arms, the legs, even the, even the face they did a great job with. This green metallic paint that they used for the knee guards and the tights look freaking awesome. Really cool to see the lion heads on the tights, so they did a good job on that. And then, of course... MJF right there. You can see he's got some text. There was at the MJ uh, that's the lion logo on the boots. So left and right there, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, and then of course the lion tattoo on his arm. So up oh, and then the other tattoo that he has there, which is looks like it's some uh, it's some Hebrew in there. So that's actually pretty cool. So yeah, yeah, I think they did a great job on on painting this figure. And again, the metallic on that on the green just really 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 stands off so really good job as far as the articulation goes the arm goes up yay high does do a full 360 the elbows are double jointed but it's hard to see through the pad um the head does get pretty decent movement around you definitely get some good ab crunch torso movement then you've also got the quad turn you've got double jointed knees there and then you get a little bit of pivoting with the ankle, not much. And then you get the pivoting with the wrists. So overall, pretty good figure. I like it a lot. And of course, now it's time to bring in the best in the world, CM Punk. All right, guys, and here he is. And oh my God, this figure is just beyond epic. So I love the throwback tights to Ring of Honor. He's got the punk on the side he's got the x's on the other side you know and again just looking at this first impression it is awesome i think one thing jazz wears has done great that mattel has never really been able to do is nail the deco on the tattoos of cm punk you've got the really cool cobra tattoo you've got the pepsi logo over there and then the tattoos across the chest and then the straight edge across the stomach so i think they did a fantastic job on that and of course the blood splatter everywhere just adds a whole another dimension to this figure so overall fantastic as far as cm punk's articulation goes his arm goes up yay high does a full 360 we've got double jointed elbows We've got pivoting in the wrist. The head movement is pretty good. We get really good ab crunch going back. We also have the quad turns as well. We've got the double jointed knees. We've got the pivoting a little bit in the foot. Um, also, the leg goes up yay high and goes back yay far, which isn't a whole lot. So... Other than that, you guys know what time it is. It is time for my favorite part of doing these wrestling figure reviews. Some wrestling figure photography using these guys, which is going to be epic. guys so final thoughts on these figures absolutely amazing so fun to pose so fun to play with i mean this blood and guts line that they created is just so cool it adds such a whole nother dimension to wrestling figures you know having that so again you know and it's also fun to watch your kids play with these figures too because you know like again like we didn't have that when we were growing up because obviously they wanted to keep it more kid friendly the times have changed so you know you can have accessories like you know you have a steel chair and you can pretend that you're you know, just whacking the other guy with the steel chair and he's busted open. So these blood and guts figures just add, like I said, like a whole nother dimension to this. Um, they did a great job on the MJF. They did a fantastic job on the CM Punk. I am beyond over the moon for these figures. And if you guys are 
collectors, wrestling figure collectors, whether you're fans of MJF, whether you're fans of CM Punk, or you're an AEW figure completist, I highly suggest you pick these figures up and do not sleep on them. That is my thoughts on that. And I'm being a little biased because I'm a fan of both, more so Punk than MJF, but still fantastic figures. And especially if you want to do some awesome wrestling figure photography like you guys saw. So yeah, so why don't you guys comment below, let me know your thoughts, and we'll go from there. So again, as always, guys, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next figure review. It's figure!